vacated the land of Apathir and uh, uh, that's, uh, he was, but at that time the Jawaharlal Nehru said that uh, ruling uh, the India, the light has gone. Uh, uh, Gangan philosophy after uh, post 9-11 world and uh, <coughs> just remember uh, as well at lastly the, the Likhna Ab is taqdiri maqabla ke aakhri khatib hai Asif Makbul Bhatt Dilwi College Kupara jo aakhri taqdiri pesh karin ke Nere never kill na hai Nere never I have to, you know, highlight that we need to borrow from Gandhian ideology in order to build a good tomorrow. In the world, 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 in Gandhi Ji ko 2 October ki murasun se jaar kiya jata hai. Ram Bhadr Shastri bhi is fairset mein shamil hai. Ke us wakat karbus kitne thai sach bolne ke liye. Lekin phir bhi in logon ne sach ke saath khade rahe. फिर भी ये लोग सच कहना नहीं छोड़ दिया और इस मुल्क को आजादी की नियमत से हम किनार करवाया और इस मुल्क को गुलामी की जंजीरों से आजाद करवाया लेकिन फिर ये आजादी क्या थी क्या क्या आज भी यहां सच बोलना सच कहना और सच सुनना इसकी गुंजाइश अभी भी मौजूद है जो आइडिया महात्मा गांधी ने आज से सौ साल पहले रखी थी या सेवेंटी फाइव साल पहले रखी थी रिली वाले जब आप देखना चाहते हो, जब आप गांधी जो सच्चाई थी, जब जब हम गांधी जी पर बात करते हैं, तो हमें देखना होगा कि क्या उनके इनकी जो आइडियोलॉजी थी, जो उनका वो तरीका था, जो उनकी उनका वो नजरिया था, क्या उसकी रिलीवेंस आज है? अगर नहीं है, तो इसको डिमेंड किसने किया? I am very sorry to say that. Gandhi Ji ki relevance ko, Gandhi Ji ki idea ko demean sirf uski, unki opponents ne nahi kiya chahe wo leftists ho ya rightists ho Since I am the student of history, mujhe facts par baat karni chahe Kis tarah se? Agar aap Bengal mein jayin ghe Toh wahaan ke youth mein kya papu nars kiya gaya? Unhe kaha gaya ki Gandhi Ji Sabah Sundar Bose ke opposite se Agar aap Dalits mein jayin ghe ki Gandhi Ji Bhagat Singh ke khilaaf se Ye kyo kiya gaya? Ta ki jo Mahatma Gandhi ki relevance hai, usko demean kiya jaye उसको कम किया जाए और महात्मा गांधी जो लेबर के बारे में बात की जब आज हम स्वच्छता की बात करते हैं हमारे जो गटर में मरने वाले लोग हैं जहरीली केसों से जो लोग मरे खतीब है मोहम्मद सलीम जो इकतालीस बीस साल को पारा से हैं वो आएंगे और उनकी तकलीफ थी इट्स मी सलीम अशरफ स्टूडेंट ऑफ फर्स्ट सेम फ्रॉम जी डी सी कुपवारा बट बिफोर आई स्टार्ट समथिंग जैसा जोश यहाँ पर होना चाहिए to speak on a topic that's the relevance of Mahatma Gandhi in contemporary times. I may begin my thought what Albert Einstein, the famous scientist, said about Gandhi Ji. Generations to come, it may be, will secure belief that such a one as this, every in flesh. But in the capacity of chief guest on this occasion, I am bound to say something. As far as uh, Today's topic is concerned Gandhian philosophy and its relevance in contemporary times. You see, so far as uh, I have understood the topic, there are many facets of Gandhian philosophy, but the one that needs to be highlighted here is the principle of non-violence. Because Gandhi Ji is famous for being the apostle of non-violence. And it is on this basis that International Day of Non-Violence is being celebrated on his birthday, 2nd of October, every year. You see, uh, How and why the day was designated by UN General Assembly as a day of non-violence? What is special in Gandhi? What remarkable achievement he has made during his freedom for Indian independence at his birthday was designated as the day of non-violence? at international level. You see, the simple funda is 
violence comes after any dispute arises. So when you have a dispute, then to resolve the dispute, you have many ways. But why did a dispute arise? There are two. One is, if there is conflict of interest between two individuals, between two parties, between two countries, between two regions. And there is second thing, which is most prevalent, that is might is right. If you are powerful, you deem to have a right to encroach upon or to infringe upon the rights of others. So these two things, if you have con conflict of interest or if you are mighty enough to dictate terms, then dispute arises. Number one is the judiciary. Judiciary is at district level, it is at state level, it is at country level you have a Supreme Court, then at international level you have the International Court of Justice. So through judiciary you can resolve the disputes. Then there is another way to resolve the dispute. It is through dialogue. So, if there is dispute, you can resolve the dispute through judiciary. You can resolve the dispute through dialogue. That is coercion. You can force someone to accept your verdict. You can force someone to accept your stand. You see, judiciary... The या आप कहीं पर आप अटक जाएं जो यहां आता है शहसवार हुई तो इसमें जज साहिबान के लिए भी ये बड़ा इम्तिहान होता है और दुश्वारी होती है कि इसमें किसको पहली पोजीशन किसको दी जाए दूसरी किसको दी जाए तीसरी किसको दी जाए Thank you.